Hi, I'm Claude from Wilderness Skills. I'm going to talk about a storm shelter from uh, the company called Trekmates. This small guy here. It's a uh, storm shelter for two or three persons, and as you can see in the small compression bag, it's only about 10 centimeters in diameter and uh, 21 centimeter in length. The weight is only 450 grams. The uh, size of the shelter when it's up, well, it's um, 142 centimeters in uh, length. It is 47 centimeters in width and 92 centimeters in height. The shelter is equipped with the two panels here of plastic where you can like two small windows, one on each side. One over here. It also has a ventilation channel. So when you're sitting inside the shelter, you're actually able to make a small fire using either a jet boil or uh, some uh, candles. Um, and there's a small drawstring here, so you can close it totally off. There's also two uh, drawstrings here in the bottom of the shelter. Uh, so when you're inside the shelter, you can tighten these ones up and then the shelter will form like a small micro habitat around you. Really, really good. Um, <clears throat> There are different names for these shelters. Some call them storm shelters, some call them mountain shelters, emergency shelters, and even some uh, manufacturers call them bothy bags. Um, they have the same function. Um, they uh, provide protection from the wind and from the rain. But let's see uh, how it works with the two persons. So for example, if you're walking in the woods or on the mountain sign and it starts to rain and it might get a little bit windy and you're thinking, ah, I just need to walk about 5-10 kilometers before I get to a really good shelter and you press on and that is where the uh, hypothermia really creeps up on you. Um, that is when you're wet, when there's wind and you might even be low on uh, calories. Um, this shelter is uh, like you know, it's genius because you just need to take this out. It'll take you a minute or so and then you're inside and then you're protected from the wind, from the rain. Uh, and you can sit in here, um, brew some coffee or tea uh, or um, even uh, make some food in here. Uh, so this will actually heat you up and uh, if you're making food, it'll provide you with energy also. Again, because hypothermia is the big killer and it will just creep up on you if you're not uh, aware of um, your surroundings uh, and how you feel yourself. So this is uh, the way I'm using my shelter uh, in an emergency. Um, as soon as it, the weather gets bad, I'll normally use the shelter until uh, it's, uh, it's getting a little bit better. Um, and if you're not used to uh, using one of these, after using it, you'll just wonder why you haven't uh, used it before because it is amazing and it is so nice to sit in uh, one of these shelters. And you don't even need to have been in, a, in an emergency situation to appreciate the, the value of a shelter like this. My own experiences uh, with the shelters of this type is that, well, looking on, on the bad side with this model here, um, what I miss uh, is uh, some reflective tape on the top or on the sides, so uh, people would be able to see me during night time. There is a small logo with the trick mates on, it's not 100% reflective, um, and it's not the same as, a, as reflexes. Um, so that's, what I, that's one of the, the main uh, things that I miss on, on this shelter. Um, also, as you saw in the beginning, the, uh, the small compression bag, it is not permanently attached to the shelter. So what I normally do is that I take the, the, the one of the draw cords in the bottom and then I link these two uh, strings together. This way the, the bag will stay attached to the shelter even in high winds, like this. What I really do like about the shelter is, of course, it is bright orange, really easy to see during daytime. There are two windows on the shelter, one on each side, so you can sit and look out. You have the uh, ventilation uh, channel here, 
uh, so you're able to sit in here and uh, use a small fire. There is a room for uh, at least two persons with a uh, backpack of this size, uh, Tasmanian Tiger, um, Trooper pack. If the pack uh, is bigger, then it might be a little bit uh, tight inside the, the tent with the three larger bags. If you're a uh, single person, then it's luxury, then it's like a, a five-star hotel room you know, where you can sit here and really enjoy uh, sitting uh, um, protected from the wind and uh, the rain. Of course, uh, it's also compact and lightweight. That's also some of the good things uh, about this one. So I can uh, easily uh, recommend uh, you to carry one of these shelters. It's only 450 grams, it's not that much weight, and it could actually save your life in an emergency. That's what I have to tell you about the emergency shelter from Trekmates. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.